Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going today? <clears throat> Alright, today we're going to be discussing the term, uh, the graffiti term, All City. Going All City and All City Camp. I notice a lot, maybe 90-something percent of you guys have no idea what that shit even means. <clears throat> you constantly use it in terms that are stupid. So I figured I could help you. Take my advice. Don't take my advice, but this is what it means. Now, when someone is going all city, they're writing in all boroughs. Pretty much like I was doing in the late 90s into 2000. And that just happened by my circumstances of living. Living in the Bronx, I was writing in the Bronx. I got divorced, moved out of the Bronx, was in Staten Island, writing in Staten Island. Hanging out with a bunch of guys in Queens, so I was writing in Queens. Staten Island already had the Bronx on smash. There you go. And I was running around with just tearing up Manhattan Island. So, anyway, that's me going all city. <clears throat> that's pretty much what it means when someone goes all city. Now, as far as it goes with being an all city king, that term is definitely thrown around way too much. Now, <clears throat> I'm pretty much going to talk about what it means to go and all this all city stuff in reference to the streets because all city on the subways was a lot easier <clears throat> be truthful you know, maybe a lot of you old school guys are going to be mad but it's the truth <clears throat> when it comes to going all city <laughs> in the streets of New York man it's a lot of fucking footwork man as far as it goes with the subways you just jump in a bunch of big yards tear shit up split up get a couple of lines here and there this that blah 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 before you know you got it <clears throat> the problem with doing it on the subway is you come across a lot of beef <clears throat> and it slows you down <clears throat> makes it a little trickier but <clears throat> when the streets also in the 80s late 80s 90s a lot of beef same problem <clears throat> but in talking about going and being the all city king this term is where it gets shady. To be all city king means that you're up more than the actual person that's up most in that borough. Like, you're up more than Joe Blow in Brooklyn. Now, Joe Blow is the king of Brooklyn. He's from Bushwick and he's up everywhere. But now you're the all city king. That means you're up more than him in his own neighborhood and his own borough. And that goes for each and every borough, all five boroughs, to be all city king. You have to be up more than all, all the little neighborhood kings that call themselves that run around and they're the neighborhood shit when it comes to graffiti. You gotta be up more than him. <clears throat> you gotta be up more than all of them. In each and every neighborhood in all five boroughs. Then you're the all city king. And I believe. <clears throat> Like what Easy did. Easy was all city king in the 80s and then came back in 2012 and did it again. He was up in every single neighborhood. He saturated every single fucking neighborhood with graffiti, including the neighborhood I'm in right now. <clears throat> and you'd go down Lexington Avenue. We had about five to six tags per mile in this neighborhood. That's not bad. <clears throat> and Harlem smashed this, that, everything. Fucking smashed. He was all city king. <clears throat> Did it with Jaws and them, then later on came back out, did it with Sen4 and them. Yeah. So, <clears throat> that would be what the term All City King means. Now, I broke down what it means about going All City, that's someone that's writing in all five boroughs with a current rate. <clears throat> and then you have someone that's up more than everyone everywhere. All City King. Alright, because I've noticed. A lot of you guys got some weird thoughts in your mind about this OE and P13. <clears throat> now, I go back, I've seen graffiti, I'm very well aware of their career. I've wrote on subways, I've rode subways, I've traveled, and yes, they're up a lot, but no, nah, the, the way you guys are describing it, it's like some kind of Superman comic. It's just. Uh, yeah. It's stupid. It's honestly stupid. <clears throat> I believe it even insults them as writers. It's just 
No, that's not the way it happens. It all. Like uh, one guy commented when I said my four favorite writers, and said, "Oh well, what about O E and P thirteen? O E and P thirteen did this, and O E and P thirteen did that, and O E and P thirteen are up." And every single sub of this was actually in the comments. <clears throat> O E and P thirteen are up in every single subway tunnel, on every single line, every single emergency hatch, and this and that. And I'm telling you right now, me, Robert Brian Dyer, sitting here in front of you, that's not true. As a matter of fact, far from true. <clears throat> For instance, I've been hopping in and out of train tunnels past forty something years. <laughs> Seriously, I've been doing that shit since junior high school. Some of the shit, we weren't even writing graffiti. We'd jump around the Metro Norths. I'd get on the Long Island Railroad tracks and jump around at Penn Station, Grand Central Station, all the regular subway tunnels. And Yeah, nah, it was a hobby of mine. Uh, I would smoke weed and shit like that. And walk around, write graffiti, whatever. My whole life I've been doing this shit. Straight up until my arrest with um, 2017. Jumping around with lace around 2017, 2016, doing tunnel. All right. Now, with that said, from Brooklyn Bridge on the IRT East Side Lines through Manhattan, from the tip of Manhattan to the tip of Manhattan, the whole length of Manhattan, tip to tip, on the East Side IRT lines, OE and P13 are not up once, not in one single hatch. One single tunnel at all, and that's miles a stretch of, of train tracks on the east side, and then not up, not once. And I know because I've traveled through all that shit my whole life, not up once. Now, you got to realize Harlem, 103rd up to 125th Street, they parked the fours and the fives in the winter time. You have a lot of winter layups there. And I still can't say I've seen them up. You have a lot of writers up up there, a lot of TDS stuff, a lot of writers in them tunnels up there, because a lot of people were writing on the trains. But I honestly can't even say I remember seeing OE and P13 up there. Yeah. Uh, now, as far as it goes with going up further into the Bronx, the Sixes there, uh, you had the other winter layups also, um, at Cypress, you had a bunch of different, um, uh, St. Mary's Park over there, Third Ave, yeah. <clears throat> They used to park um, trains there too. And I don't remember seeing them up in there at all. So, yeah. As a matter of fact, you see what it is. O E and P thirteen. They're kind of like a Brooklyn Queens type of a thing. Now, if you were from Brooklyn and Queens, you might think that in your mind or be typing that in the computer on my page because that might be so. You might believe this in your mind because that's what you're exposed to throughout your years in travel. I'm different. I'm from Manhattan and the Bronx. Yeah. So I would have to say I've seen FDT 56 up and Clyde and K 56 up a lot more than I've seen OE and P13 up. Yeah. That is true. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm aware of it. Fucking um, FDT-56, Clyde and them. It's a different era almost than OE and them. These guys came out before OE and them. By a couple of years, yeah. <clears throat> so, that would mean in my eyes, oh, what are they talking about? FDT-56 did this, he did that. You know? <clears throat> yeah, I would say I've seen them up more in my travels. I remember once I was on a track team. I run. I love running. I was on a track team once. I think it was Van Cortland Park or some shit like that up in the Bronx. And we were going against a different school or something like that. I had to take a piss. But I didn't want to get up and go all the way to the bathroom and take a piss because I was running. You know, I had like another... Uh, you know, like after that race that was on there, it was time for me to go running. So I actually slipped behind a rock that was off to the side of these bleachers. And I swear to you, behind that rock, <laughs> it's a Clyde in that fucking FDT-56. True fucking story. And that was like 81 or something like that, 82, yeah. No, that was about 84, actually, yeah. yeah I've seen that. I've been looking at Clyde and my whole fucking life. I mean, I've been going to the Bandshell, Central Park, and everything. Oh, but don't get me wrong now, P-13 and OE, they had their little connection with RTW, with Bill Rock and them, so it's not unreal to see those guys up around that same area either. Mm. Matter of fact, they probably knew FDT and them, you know. But, yeah, I would say that 
The way you guys describe OEMP 13 is the way I would describe FDT 56 in them and Clyde. So <clears throat> it really does boil down to what you're exposed to. But now I have another question to ask you. <clears throat> this is if if you see, uh, say you're um, living in Ohio. Now, if you see a picture of, uh, I'm just using this as an example. Um, you see a picture of uh, OE tag <clears throat> on the internet. Now, can you say you've seen OE up? You get me? Like, for instance, say you see a picture of a garbage truck with an RD tag on it. And you're in Ohio. You're a 10-year-old boy in Ohio on the internet. Now, you see the picture of an RD on a garbage truck from 1987. And you see that on the internet. Can you say you saw RD up? Yeah. That's different. You know, like, compared to, like, actually, can someone, they see it up in the street? Because what I'm, what I'm getting at here is the, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. <clears throat> it's just pretty much the way it is. A lot of pictures are recycled and reposted and this and that and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Reworded, just re-hashtagged and all that shit. And, you know, it's like one picture, all of a sudden someone's like a king shit or something like that. And compared to actually someone that walks around the streets of New York and sees it. But I don't walk around and take pictures of stuff. I only even take pictures of my own graffiti. And I don't fit in that category anyway. As far as it goes, would be an all city and all that. Not me. But, yeah, you have that. FDT 56, Clyde, K56, them motherfuckers put it in. <clears throat> and my eyes are a lot harder than OEMP 13. And I've seen OEMP 13. Up. I'll tell you a story under the, um, the UN building. You have the 7 train that goes out to Queens from 42nd Street. Now, I climb around and down under there, right near this Moses Park. It's called Moses or something like that, the park. And there's a little hatch there. You go down into that hatch and you're in the seven tunnel, going towards Queens, coming from Grand Central Station. In the winter, they used to park seven trains down there. Only human being up in that tunnel was a OEMP-13. <clears throat> I actually ripped out all the fire exit signs in that fucking tunnel with a crowbar with OEMP-13 had tags on it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they do have a lot of tunnels, but I believe they wrote in tunnels where layups were. Like if there was a train layup, a place for them to write on a train and they're testing their spray paint and doing a wee or P-13 or even on the candy stripe they might fucking catch a marker tag or something like that, but they weren't actually up in every single tunnel, every single emergency hatch, hatch and fucking the five barrels. No. <clears throat> That's just like some weird comic book shit you're talking about. <clears throat> Alright people, I hope I didn't hurt no one's feelings, man. I like OE and P13 shit too, man. But like I said, <clears throat> I believe it depends on what you're exposed to. Alright, yo, take care of yourselves, alright? Hey, I'm just telling it like it is, man.